Good evening, everyone. When you beat an opponent 34 to nothing and there is still disappointment, hey, it really speaks to the quality of the program and just how good your team actually is. Maybe it was the toll of the last two games. Maybe the Tide was just overlooking their opponent. Whatever the case, in the first half of Saturday's game with Vanderbilt, Alabama did not look like the same team we saw in the first five games of the season. The first half was the first time this year that I felt we were flat. Um, and we were. We were a little bit that way in pregame. We got off to a rocky start, and it, it wasn't good, you know. You know, we, that's not Alabama football. Could have got worse. We could have kept on playing flat, and they could have won the game. I always got to learn some, from the uh, bad things to get better. To me, if I'm trying to be the best player I, I can be, whether I was playing Arkansas, Florida, or Vanderbilt, I, I would be trying to play the same way. Uh, and that, that's what we want to try to get our players to do. And I know that's not human nature, but that's what we want to try to get them to do so that we can improve and get better as a team. Yeah, I think we scored 14 points in the first half. Uh, we got to start faster than that and uh, play better on the front end of the game. But I think we came out in the second half and executed well and uh, did what we needed to do. That they did, and that guy you just saw, Brad Smelly, had a big night. The Tuscaloosa native picked up his first career touchdown. Same deal for DeAndre White, who didn't just stop with one TD. He added another for good measure. DeAndre's a kid that's extremely talented, and, and I think a lot of guys within the organization knew that you know he could really step up and have a big game like this just because he is so talented. He makes play, a lot of plays in practice. He made two huge catches for touchdowns, and I mean, like I was saying before, we got a lot of receivers. And uh, it's not just me and Mays, and we got a lot of guys that can get it done out there. And Hayes got his first touchdown of the season. We hooked up with A.J. McCarron in the fourth quarter. In all, McCarron tossed four TDs, which tied him for second on the Alabama single-game record list.